To demonstrate how Flora works, we are going to make a small change to the front page. First, we download a copy of the Firefox icon. In the icon plugin, we update the color to a color from our palette. Next, we select that we want a hovered version of the icon and apply a theme to it. Finally, we add the icon to the front page group and click Add Icon. We can now confirm that the icon was added to the front page group. Now I'm going to copy the icon to use in my sketch design. I'm making two changes for this design. Before I change the text from saying add the Chrome extension to add the browser extension. I'm also adding the Firefox logo next to the Chrome logo. I'm now ready to share the design with the engineer. First, I'm going to create a new branch called add Firefox icon. After my branch is created, I'm going to compare my changes before I commit them. I will add the commit message at Firefox icon and then commit my changes. I will now push my committed change to the remote repository. Next, I can open up a merge request to merge my changes into the main branch. I will use the commit message and branch name as my title and descriptions for the merge request. Now, I'm going to request a peer review from the engineer for my changes. I will review my changes one more time. Oops! I need to update the icon name from Firefox SVG Rebo.com to just Firefox. I'll click Edit in the local icon plugin. Now I'm going to update the name and click Update icon. Now I'm going to diff my changes. I can see that the old icon name was removed and the new icon name was added. I'll add a short commit message for my revision and push my change to the remote branch. When I look at my merge request in the remote repository, I should now see that my most recent changes were added. I've now received Jacqueline's design and I'm going to review her merge request. In my notifications, I can see that I was added as a reviewer to Jacqueline's merge request. I'll review her changes and they look good to me, so I'll just write LGTM. Next, I'll pop over to the main merge request view so I can approve her changes and she can merge her branch into the main branch. Now that I have received peer approval, I'm going to merge my changes. After merging, I'm going to switch back to my local repository and pull the changes down. First, I switch over to the main branch, then I click pull remote. The engineer should now be able to pull my changes too. Now that I can see that Jacqueline has merged her merge request, I'm going to pull her changes down and confirm that they're in my local repository. Next, I'm going to sync her changes into my code base by typing flora module sync b. I should now be able to access the icon in code. First, I'm going to duplicate the code for the Chrome icon and update the variable names to represent the Firefox icon. I need a new state variable for the hovered state of the Firefox icon. The use icon hook in this code should show the blue version of the Firefox icon when the icon is being hovered. Finally, I'll jump down to the JSX here and wire up the hover logic for the icon. As this is just a demo, we don't really have a Firefox extension yet. I'll just duplicate the icon but omit the link. Now let's test it out. Look, it works. Great. We still need to update the text that says add the Chrome extension. First, I'm going to open up the Floro browser extension and put the page in debug mode. Now I can open up the text I need to update directly from my browser. I'm going to change the word Chrome to the word browser. Now I'm going to actually commit directly to main, which is not normally the best idea, but it fast tracks this demo a little bit. I'll add the commit message, hotfix updated extension text, and push my changes directly to the remote. I changed my mind and I have decided that I would like the text to say install the browser extension instead of add the browser extension. I will use the Flora browser extension to open up the text in Flora and then I will make my edits there so that I can commit them. I can preview how the changes look visually in the live website before I commit them. In order to demonstrate a merge conflict, I'm going to be committing my changes directly on the main branch. I'll write a short commit message, update copy for browser extension installation, then I will try to push my changes. When I try to push, I will get a warning message that there are conflicting changes ahead of mine on the main branch. In order to resolve this, I will pull down the changes and address the conflict locally. Initially, I can see the conflict prefers my phrasing. If I switch the merge directions to theirs, the text will say add the browser extension. 
I resolved the conflict to my new phrasing. I'm now ready to push my code changes. I still haven't pulled down Jacqueline's new changes. For me, the text on the front page still says, add the browser extension. When I deploy, that is what the live website will say as well. I'm now going to deploy and we can check what the website says. As expected, the website is still in the past. I've now pulled Jacqueline's changes down. When I turn on the Chrome extension to preview the local state of the repository, I see her updated text. We also still need to update the translations. So when the translation changes are pushed, the website should update as well. We're going to commit our translation changes and again, push our changes directly onto the main branch. This time, the copy will be fully up to date. If we turn off the edit mode in the Chrome extension and refresh the page, we should now see our new translations are live. And it works, great. Um, that's it for our demo. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out and you can also consult our documentation. Thanks, bye.